hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is shayla but you can call me shay and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did a super cute bantu knot out on my blow dried natural hair so all i'm doing right now is just splitting my hair into four sections and grabbing the amount of hair i'm going to use on my first section i'm just using one product for this and this is the carol's daughter's cocoa cream y'all i've been using this product every video because all my products are still at school in my dorm so please bear with me <laughs> as we go through this quarantine um so all i'm doing is splitting the back sections into four sections here's my first one and then i twist it and then i'm gonna twist it into a loose bantu knot now, if you guys saw my first bantu knot out video you guys know those curls were super tight and it was cute but the curls were like so tight they weren't giving it all like it was just shrunken straight to my head but in this week's video i decided to make the bantu knots a little bit looser this time so that i wouldn't have as much of a problem with my hair shrinking up so yeah you guys will see the difference that that made at the end of the video but this is a super quick and super easy style it didn't take much for me at all um i just went through each section and made sure it was detangled thoroughly with my little um detangling brush i'm not sure what this was called but my little green detangling brush i use on each section and this is about the size of my bantu knots, as you guys can see. Um, at this point, I had finished most of it, and I just had this one section in the front left. And as I always do in any style, braid outs, twist outs, whatever it is, I make the, um, the sections in the front a little bit smaller because I want the sections that are framing my face to be a little bit more defined. So I did the same exact thing this time with these bantu knots. And as you guys can see, I don't tighten it super tight around the root in my first wraps i keep it loose so that i can wrap um the rest of the twist underneath the first wrap if that makes sense so yeah um i try to keep these as loose as they can be without making them completely come out just so i don't have a super 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 tight curl because that's not the look i'm really trying to go for in this one but yeah so i'll just let you guys watch as i finish this up And just a word of advice for when you do this to your hair, make sure you're using a product that isn't super water infused. That didn't make sense, but just any product that you know is going to revert your curls, try not to use that because you don't want your curl pattern to interrupt the pattern of the bantu knots. So yeah, keep that in mind. And here, as you can see, all of my bantu knots are done. I'm loosening them up a little bit more just to make sure I can sleep well. And I just slept with a little scarf on and this is the next day. So I took these down with just a little bit of oil on my hands because I didn't want my hair to be oily. And basically all you have to do is twist the bantu knot in the opposite direction of which you put it in. And then I twist it around my finger to loosen it up. And then I just open the twist. And this is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, I was shocked. I was super surprised by the way these came out because I was expecting them to be super shrunken. But I think making them looser definitely made a huge difference this time. And as you guys can see, my hair is super shiny. It's super light because I didn't use a whole bunch of product. And the curls are definitely defined and super bouncy as well. So now that I'm done taking everything out, I'm going to go ahead and shake it out a little bit. And then I'm going to start the separation process off camera. And I try to separate a lot because I like a lot of fluff and I like a lot of volume. But not as much as I usually would because I don't want to ruin the curls. So I'll only separate it like one or two times. And then this is what my hair is looking like. Um, I picked it out a little bit, but I didn't want to pick it out too much because this is just the first day and I wanted it to last for a little bit. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. This is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.